Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down Cream, White Room. Hope you guys dig it. If you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel here, Marty Music. And then if you check the description below, I've got free courses, links to other great bonuses. Appreciate that extra support. All right, let's break it down. All right, so the intro is uh, G minor to F for the first two chords. And if you play the upper structures here, it matches up to the voicings on the recording. And depending on how you want to do it, you know, you could have uh, a guitar mini going on when guitar is playing with overdrive and the second guitar player is playing that note. But the voicing is a G minor triad right here. And I'm playing 12, 11, 10 on the G, B, high E. And then F major triad right here. And so that's 8, 10, and 10. You know, you can see that chord. F major. And then D minor. And I'm going to play it right here. Triad. It's the same thing right here. I'm going to do it right here. It's the same voicings. And so that would be 12 on the D string. And then 10 on the G, 10 on the B. And then down a whole step. So 10 on the D string, 9 on the G, 8 on the B. That's a C major triad. So all together, G minor, F major, D minor, C major. Same thing again. G minor. F major. D minor. C major. And then this is an A. Basically, we'll call it A7. And so this note repeats from the C major. And then... To the A7, it stays there. And so this last little A7, now, you know, if you played an A, you'd be fine, but you can hear that voicing in here. So that's, you can play the open A string, or if the bass player's playing the A string, you're fine. You could just play this little triad, but it's an A. And then you've got 7th fret D, 9th fret G, and 8th fret B with your middle finger. And then, boom, into the rock progression in the, you know, main open position. All right, from the top. Now take what you think of as a D chord, but forget about that high E string. So what we're left with is a D5. Middle finger is free to go to the third fret, so you've got... My index is going there. Ring finger sync. So that's like a G over B, you could call it. And that D string's muted out on this one. And for this one, you're not really hearing it, but you're hearing that open G. And then a B flat power chord to a C power chord. I mean, if it's a full bar chord, you could do that too, but I think power chord's better. And I was getting a little sloppy there with the D5. If the open A goes with it, 
you're still fine. An A note is part of the D5 chord. But it's probably a little cleaner to not have that open A in there. Real slow. section C to the G B flat A major C to the G B flat C to the D So the soloing, wah pedal, it's all D blues, but he does mix, he puts in little, that little major third, just sometimes, and he throws the nine in there sometimes, so it kind of toys with the major pentatonic a little bit. So if I just, let's see. You know, it's great for blues and D major pentatonic. Let's see here. Uh, kind of slower. pedal going and mostly D minor pentatonic. I can take a phone call if I need to while we're here. Slide up there. So it's all just that. And the extension. But just sometimes. So right there, that'd be between the 15 and 14. That 
It's a little BB box vibe. But really fun to just play over. And that's gonna that's gonna get you through it. All right, thanks again, you guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can request stuff in the comments below. While you're down there, you can check out the description box for killer bonuses. And of course, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel here. All right, take care. See you later.